What's up guys, how are you guys doing today and welcome back to another YouTube video on my YouTube channel. So this is going to be a different video for you guys. Tomorrow is Angel Draft Day. I am going live probably on, on this channel or the Power Skate Show YouTube channel tomorrow uh, for, for draft coverage. And probably rounds 2 through 7 I'm going to go live on, on this channel. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I will definitely uh, co cover the whole entire draft festivities. So, from that, I am going to do my whole entire mock draft. Um, so, so, yeah, this is going to be the first round. And uh, this is pretty much the most important um uh, like dra draft um, slots for for pretty much ev everyone. So so I'm only gonna do the first round. So um, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy. And if you guys have not yet subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button to help those notifications for more future content. I got everything planned, ready to go for for this summer uh, until um, mid September. So um. Yes, yeah, stay tuned, and, um, yep, let's head on to the draft. Alright guys, so, we are now at Cap Friendly for the, uh, mock draft. As you can see here down below, the, uh, first round, um, draft orders are set to go, so we are ready to go. And if you guys have not yet... Um, checked out my, my mock draft, um, on the Pascal Show YouTube channel. I'm going to put the link in the description below. So, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll get this thing covered and set to go. So now, uh, first overall pick is the Montreal Canadiens. And before I go in depth about it, um, the Montreal Canadiens, fun fact, had became, have become... The first ever team to to get drafted in first overall on in their uh, home arena, so well well deserved for the Canadians, but a a good history made there. So so now let's get this gun first overall. I heard debates that Shane Wright may not be number one overall in the twenty twenty two NHL draft. It may seem that um. Uh, uh, like Cooley, Savoie, Lambert may go number one overall, but um, I'm gonna go with Shane Wright as number one overall. Um, he's pretty much been the consensus number one overall in in recent um uh, draft orders from from other from others, and when he broke out into the OHL. From the 2019-20 season, he had the uh, exceptional status at age 15 um, to play in the Ontario Hockey League by the Kingston Frontenac. So Shane Wright will go number one with the Montreal Canadiens. Second pick for the New Jersey Devils. Uh, interesting choices with Logan Cooley, uh, Matthew Savoie, or Brad Lambert. Um, actually got Brad Lambert going second overall. For the New Jersey Devils. Third overall pick for the uh, Arizona Coyotes. They need to do something with their um, with their picks. Um, I don't see them going f to get a center. Uh, Logan Cooley would have been a good pick. Um, for a defenseman. I kind of see David Juracek. To go at n number three for Arizona. So for for Seattle, um, uh, Matthew Savoie will will go will go to uh, Seattle, and for Philadelphia they need a center because they traded away uh, Claude Drew. So Logan Cooley would be a uh, the pick for uh, Philadelphia. Now pick number six, the Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, I got Juraj Slavkovsky. Um, he came from Russia, I believe. So, 
So Slavkovsky left wing will go to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Ottawa Sanders, uh, I got Danila Yurov. He's a right wing, has a good size at six feet tall. And um, the, the Sanders have a bright future going ahead of them as they got great young players for in their uh, organization. Now Detroit, um, I've heard rumors about um, about uh, Philip Peronik on on trade rumors or whoever about their defense. So they might pick a defenseman on this one. Um, they're going to go with Simon Nemec, who's from Slovakia. Buffalo. Um, ooh, got got me on this one. Um, I see. Uh, I don't see them pick a defenseman because they've been picking a ton of defensemen lately in years past. Um, to make a good pick. Um, I I see Connor Geeky to to make a good good pick. Uh, he's a center, so he can be like the new um, Jack Eichel with as far as uh, like playability goes and and development. So now on to the tenth pick for the Anaheim Ducks. Um, I see them pick um, Joachim Kern Kemmel. San Jose, um, they need a winger, so Jonathan Lekaramaki. Now for the Columbus Blue Jackets, um, they will pick Ivan Mirshchenko. So if you guys have not heard Ivan Mirshchenko, cannot pronounce his last name, but I apologize. Um, he was diagnosed with uh, some, uh, cancer, uh, recently, um, uh, Ivan Mears illness, so, so he had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, so, uh, he, he's now, uh, lymphoma-free, like, a month ago, so, well-deserved for, uh, Mears, Mears for the Islanders, uh, Noah Ostlund, uh, he's a center from Sweden. For Winnipeg, um, they're gonna pick Frank Nazar from from uh, America. Vancouver, um, Vancouver may pick a pick a defenseman because as we see, Ty Nelson. Uh, Seamus Casey, Ryan Chelsea, and uh, uh, I mean Elias Salomon Monson and Tristan Luno. So it seems like that they're gonna pick a defenseman uh, for for Vancouver to to build up their decor. But the preference is Ty Nelson for uh, for Vancouver. Buffalo. Uh, they're they're gonna take a winger, pretty much replace Alex Tuck. Um, they're gonna take Philip Misar. Oh, that that's that's Buffalo's pick. As well, I'll, I'll say Philip Misar. So, Misar to Buffalo. Now Nashville, they're gonna take a defenseman and they'll pick Ryan Chelsea. And Seamus Casey to Dallas. Now Minnesota, so originally the LA Kings were supposed to get the uh, 19th overall pick, uh, I think from the Kevin Fiala trade, so so Minnesota will get the 19th overall pick, and they're going to pick uh, Elias Salamonson. Now for the 20th overall pick. My Washington Capitals. Uh, I would say that they should pick a center, like a wing, 
And I know you guys are saying Jack Hughes. I, I don't think so, but I mean, that would be nice. I would say Rucker McGrody. Rucker McGrody to the Washington Capitals. I love Rucker. Um, he's a good he's a good winger from the U.S. National Team Development Program. He he's fast. He, he can um, play all ends on on the ice like like a two way like a two way guy, but can also be a playmaker. So um, he can be a good spot for for the Capitals within the next few years. Pittsburgh. Um, they they need a defenseman or a center. Um, you know, if, if they pick a defenseman, it'll be Denton Matichuk for, for Pittsburgh. And for the Anaheim Ducks, uh, I can't see them pick another defenseman um, to help around uh, Jamie Drysdale for the future. Uh, Tristan Luno. So, so that means for St. Louis, um, they're going to pick Ruzan Gazizov. And for Minnesota, they're going to take another Austrian center, Marco Kasper. Since Marco Rossi may be into the league right now, um, pretty much make an opening night roster, I should say. Um... They will, um, they may, uh, take a center to have a good chemistry with Rosso and Casper. That's what, uh, we may see. Now, Toronto, um, uh, they're, they're going to pick a forward. Um, they're going to take Isaac Howard. And Montreal can take Jack Hughes. Uh, Arizona... They're going to pick Liam Ogren, Buffalo, they will take another Ford from the U.S. program, Jimmy Snuggerud, Edmonton, Pavel Mintyukov. Now the 30th pick for the Winnipeg Jets um, takes the rights for the New York Rangers. Uh, they're going to take Owen Pickering. He's a defenseman from Canada. Now for the last two picks, the Tampa Bay Lightning will pick uh, Tampa Bay... Can I see them pick a defenseman for for the future? Not not really like a Ford because they they have a great Ford, uh, core in their organization, as far as developing goes. Um, Tampa, I would see them pick Simon Forsmark, and for Arizona, they're gonna take Alexander Parivalov. So that's so that's it for the first round. Uh, I know it's a, it's a quick video. Uh, I, I would love to to go all in depth, but I pretty much don't know m most of the players. Only um, USA guys, cause cause I follow the um, US program a lot, and and some some of the guys from the OHL. Um, most importantly, uh, Shane Wright. Uh, so so yeah, that that's gonna be it for for the first round. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed, please the like button. That would great, greatly appreciate a lot to me. That's going to make me do more videos in your future. Do you guys want more vlogs? Inside the Summer Life with Alex Dossel and Inside the Hockey Season with Alex Dossel or, or any miscellaneous videos for fun, please hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any future content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys anywhere from the NHL draft. Have a good night, guys, and I'll see you guys on my next video.